G'day guys, Billy here. Well, I'm at the wage and care and share side. See if there's any goodies. Old vintage stuff, relics and clothes. I'll show you the antique shop soon, fellas. It's really, really nice. Amazing how cheap you can get stuff. A couple of dollars for really good stuff. Anyway, I'm going to see if there's any nice surf shirts. Large. Some really good, like for a dollar, guys, for a couple of dollars for a nice surf shirt, like Billabong and Rip Curl and all that kind of stuff. So, this area here, guys, is a second hand clothes section and you get some really, really good bargains, like here. It's a nice old Billabong surf shirt, so you get some really awesome. Clothes here, I haven't found nothing what's my size, but some really awesome clothes, and they're all like a dollar or two dollars each. And some of the stuff you find is like brand new and also really good retro stuff. That's a good one. I might take that one, guys. Large is my size, not a big fan of George Bush. But you get some really, really awesome clothes here, like even really nice retro clothes. A lot of surf clothes, the old classic board shorts, if any of you guys remember the old Okanui's, stuff like that. So, there's a beautiful antique shop and second hand books and all of the books are free guys, like really really old books, like over 100 years old, so we're going to have a look there in a minute. And like good surf shorts and heaps of shorts and stuff guys, work shorts. Right, here's some nice boardies, stuff like that guys, but some of the real classic, you know, early 1980s boardies, like, like I said, Okanui's, with the frangipani type prints, so anyway, we'll just have a quick look around guys, and we'll see what we can find, like Levi's, you get some Levi's here for a dollar, like look at this one, this is like probably a don't know if it's leather, no it's not leather, but you get some really nice leather jackets for like two bucks. Beautiful old, look at this, 1940s probably. Beautiful 1940s suit jacket there. Like I say, Levi's. R.M. Williams jeans, what you're paying like 200 bucks for a pair of jeans, you can get for two bucks. Really nice old 1920s and 1940s trousers. and. Just Levi's, doubt it. It's not. That's all volunteer run, guys, and everything goes towards um, my mum's aged care facility, Waratah Lodge. So this is actually called Wage and Care and Share. It's open every day except for Sundays and Mondays from about 8 o'clock in the morning till 12.30 in the afternoon. And on Sundays you can have really, really cheap lunches, a three course lunch for like five bucks. Right, just so you guys, brand new clothes, you know, for two bucks. Like brand new with tags on and everything for two dollars. Nice pair of camouflage trousers, look at this. $35 guys, and I'll sell them here for about two bucks. Right there. Let's see if they're my size. Cargo pants. What size am I? I'm about a... No, 92. I'm about... That's 92. I'm about a 96. A lot of kids clothes guys and out the back there there's all women's clothes beautiful women's second-hand clothes baby stuff and everything well, just here's an example guys ten dollars so 69 dollars and this is a pretty famous australian band brand rivers and ten bucks for that nice pair of good jeans let's go and we'll see what size they are 38 I don't think that's my size. So here's a lot of old second-hand Tupperware and kitchen, kitchen alia, fellas. I like coming in here and having a look so you can find any nice retro vintage stuff. 
couple of old built mill puddles guys but they're not 600 mils they're not that kind of old probably 1970s early 1980s but like stuff like this guys you can buy this for like a dollar each well probably if I bought those two she'd probably say a dollar and they're nice it's just stuff you can buy and resell at markets and this is just a you, you wait till you see the nice little antique section guys nice jars kitchen stuff might buy a steak knife guys I think I really do need a steak knife and use it eating my meat with butter knives so I might grab that steak knife and but anyway we'll see what else we can get guys I'm not gonna be lashing out on a lot of stuff today but watch my budget and just tell you fellas this is all uh, glasses and so forth but there's another big shop was full of beautiful old stuff really really cheap but you if you need plates and that for home you get some nice secondhand plates really really cheap like this a dollar Just spares, you know, cups. If you got people coming over, there's some nice old retro cups, 1970s. Get some good bargains there, you guys. A lot of it's crap too, a lot of it's junk, but you honestly you do get some really awesome stuff. And like you can come here and buy stuff really, really cheap and sell it at the market so four times the price. This, what's this one here? No. Nice little one here, guys. This is quite nice. Want to get that? That's beautiful. Hand carved. Might be worth something. And yeah, just in here, fellas, is uh, second-hand bags and stuff. I always look for the nice old vintage era bags. They're really, really collectible. Sometimes they've got some nice old jars in here. Like right here, this nice old. Possibly. Something like that, you know, just a, a nice little bottle for drinking water and stuff to carry in the car. Anyway, second hand furniture and so forth here, guys. Really, really cheap. Well, this is even quite cool. Unfortunately, it's missing. Oh no, yeah, it's missing a Bain Marie container. Nice cot. Some of it's, you know, it's not that old, guys, some of it, but some of it's really, really good. So it's all been donated by local residents and stuff. And it goes towards all the money. Or probably a high percentage of it goes towards the wage in Waratah Lodge where my mum currently resides in an aged care facility. So I just found this guys, I don't know if it's uh, it's probably a fake, yeah it's definitely a fake Louis Vuitton. Just a nice little bag. But anyway that's the type of stuff you'd keep an eye out for when you come to shops like this. Always look for stuff like could be worth a fortune guys, but obviously look at that, pretty dodgy, fake, I was going to get it too, but anyway, just another fake. Just some old second hand kitchen, blenders and so forth. So we'll head over to the antique shop in a minute fellas. And here's a little bit of furniture, old bags, I buy some nice bags sometimes, especially the old retro ones. I come here sometimes, there's beautiful antique bottles in here. But they're all pretty modern, these ones at the moment. The last time I came here I brought some beautiful, like 20 beautiful old Fowler's pickle jars for about a dollar. They sell them for five bucks each at the markets. For second hand furniture here, some nice old retro stuff. 30 bucks for that nice old retro cabinet. Second hand mattresses in really good condition. I bought mattresses here before guys, so they probably sell for $2. And heaps of other stuff, so we'll take you to the next area.
50 bucks for a beautiful old 19, probably 40s cabinet. A lot of old stuff here, guys. Some of it's crap, like I say, but you find some beautiful stuff and get some really, really good bargains. DVDs. Old records for you guys. Old records. And this is the women's section right here. And baby section. This is the baby section here, guys, the clothes. And I just got myself a nice little blanket for the dogs. More kid stuff here. So this area here, guys, also when I was a boy scout, this used to be the scout hall. I used to come over here every week for my mate. And anyway, good memories, but this is a second-hand bookstore, guys, and there's heaps and heaps of really, really old books. Travel books, but all of these books are free, guys. So, you know, you can buy these books if you really want to. You can sell them on eBay and make a, you know, free profit. Yeah, books here on everything, gardening, nature, travel, really, really old books. I'll show you some of the old books soon. Heaps of novels. Books on medicine, health and personal well-being. Guys, look at this beautiful old classic BMX bike book, guys. That would definitely sell on eBay. This is 19, early 1980s. You know, you could easily sell that for 10 bucks on eBay, and it's free here. All the classic original professional BMX riders. Unfortunately, it's got a rip page right there, which is a pity. I would have taken it otherwise. But there's plenty of books like this in there, guys. The ones what I don't find is the old cartoon comics. That's what I really love to find, guys. The old army comics. Well, there's a beautiful old cricket book. Not that old, I don't think. But yeah, it's a pity they don't have comics here. They should do. Book C, guys. So old book here for autographs in there guys, 1937. Yeah. Treachery at Knots. Don't know what it's about. I'd love to find some old flat earth books guys. That's like from Admiral Richard Bird. His original book. It definitely should be some really valuable books in here. Just gotta find them guys, there's thousands of books in here. This is another area, this is where the actual scout hall used to be guys, this is where I used to come and have scouts in this room. And just in here on Sundays they have really really cheap three course meal. Good thanks mate. Bye. Yeah just doing a video to show a friend. And there's more second hand books here guys. All in here, all DVDs and VCRs. All free.
but I can't find any of the old books when I wanted. They're all these ones here are all pretty modern. And heaps and heaps of cookbooks as well. And gardening books. So even a lot of these cookbooks are worth money guys. Not women alive, they always love the cookbooks. Nice little antique bottle here, guys. A nice little old kid's milk bottle. That one's for sale? Yeah, no. Okay, I'll grab that one on the way out. Yeah? Thank you. You're most welcome. Nice. I do a lot of videos too, so. Yeah. Uh, you've heard of YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, well, I do a lot of videos on YouTube. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so I'll, I'll put this on YouTube. Oh, that'll be wonderful. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thank you very much. Nice old records here, guys. Barry Bella, Bella Fonte, I've heard of him. Well, who's this girl? I know a face. That's her, Nana Mascori. DVDs here, guys, really cheap. I don't watch DVDs. CDs. Oh, tapes. These are very collectible these days, guys. The old tapes. Coming back into uh, fashion, guys. I saw a news article on it the other day. Tribute to Banjo Patterson. He's one of Australia's most fav uh, famous poets. Second hand kids clothes guys and ladies section right here. It's all women's stuff here. So this is where the goodies is guys, all the vintage stuff. It's vintage, but there's you find some nice stuff here. Really, really cheap. A lot of home knitted stuff here that the ladies make, guys. These beautiful blankets, I forget what they're called, throw overs, crochet. Sewing magazines here, sewing stuff. This stuff's really, really collectible, guys. Uh, wooden platters for nuts and chips and so forth. All beautiful wooden bowls. Tins. 
Kings. Beautiful chug that one. Five bucks. <laughs> oh, I'm just doing a video show some friends. No, you're right, you're right. No worries. There's a nice little collectible piece, guys. 1977. <gasps> Whoops. <coughs> Nearly broke it. So that's stuff to start to keep an eye out for, fellas. You might find something valuable. Beautiful teacups. The air condition is nice. It's beautiful. Yeah. But I, yeah. Collect. Yeah. You know, you came in one of the tiny work Fridays. I remember you coming in before. Oh, okay. Cups, yeah. Cups. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm a bit of a hoarder. I just love old stuff, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I do a lot of. I find beautiful stuff out, rubbish dumps and stuff. Really, to me, it's just amazing. Oh, it is. I know, it's horrible. I hate, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Not many people do it. Oh, I, I do. Yep. And I'm yeah, I'm just about that. to head out to the wage and dump now. I'm mm. just about to head out there now, see if there's any goodies. Are they, um, some people are. Hey, see, my cousin put a, um, they just bought a brand new couch, exactly the same as their last. Yeah. And they're spewing because yep. it's actually vinyl, not leather. And she said, oh, we're getting, we've brought a brand new couch, so we're getting rid of our leather one. It's a one, two, three, four seat couch. Um, two of them are gone, and then it's got their party hold kind of food here. And, um... So all these really, really cheap, fellas. Everything's really cheap here. Because you find valuable stuff, guys, and the ladies at work here, no offence to them, but they don't have a clue what some of the stuff might be worth. You find some beautiful paintings for you too. It's a beautiful old jug here, guys. Look at this beautiful jug. Looks old to me. Got no markings on it, but it is beautiful. I like that. I think I might grab that, guys. How much is that one? Just a... 
about two dollars. Three bucks. Yeah. Sounds like a bargain to me. Good bargain. Yeah, there you I'll go. grab that. I'll just have There's a keep some looking. Beautiful stuff. The other, oh, some of the really old stuff. We yeah. Have. It's only come in on a Friday, you know, but so much stuff. Oh comes no, in. it's beautiful. You know. Yeah, I like just love finding the old stuff. Yeah. I don't know if that's old, but it looks old. No, I'll try. There's no mark. On no. There. But some stuff wasn't marked. It's um, yeah. wearing these as a kid guys these beautiful little gloves exactly like that memories guys I like that keep calm and carry on you know, vintage retro I'll take that don't know what it is must be a let's put a kettle on or something like that unsure but I like it we'll take it guys and just a nice tin here guys it's, it has a bit of barcode on it so it's an old tin hand Christian Anderson Danish butter cookies Beautiful, I'll take that one guys. Oh, it has got a barcode on it. Nice tin, but I'm going to take it. Right there, barcode. And another nice biscuit tin guys. I want to grab that. That is nice, it's not that old. It's a nice tin, but beautiful. Oh, and it's biscuits. And this tiny tea tin. This nice little tin here, guys. And a couple of nice little frames here, guys. It's not old, but look nice in the kitchen or something. Kitchen alia type stuff. That's nice. And right here, guys, is all homemade furniture that they make out of uh, recycling wooden pallets. So it's just a small selection. Nice homes here, ten bucks each for those guys. I'd love to be able to make these one day. Stuff like that. Oh, is that your teddy? Yeah, I'm going to give it to my mum, I think. dollars $9.50. $9.50? $9.50 for that, that's a bargain. Do you want to get something else, mate? I suppose, you know. I made that like a bit here. Suction, is it? Like a suction. Very lovely. Actually, we're looking at the surfing chair. Actually, you know, that's where my dad's selling. And right here, guys, this is exactly what I need. A beautiful I'll grab that one guys, just a nice foam mattress for Cindy, she's getting old guys and she's battling to jump up on my on her bed now, it's like a couch, so it's nice, fine, even just for a foam mattress guys, something like this, if you want to buy it at a shop, what like deals in foam and so forth, honestly, probably about 50 to $100 for this, and they'll probably charge me a dollar also buy really nice uh, bed mattresses here too guys for a couple of bucks and <laughs> that sounds a bit funny but you know they're really really nice mattresses 
the sole here sometimes. And I just saw here you guys some beautiful succulents. Let's see if I can buy them, eh? This is exactly what I need, especially for my mate DJ Puff the Third. Some nice succulents, so I really, really want to get into growing cactuses and stuff, guys. And there's some more here. Look at this. The thing, look at this for sale, a dollar fifty. That is beautiful because some of these cactuses, guys, are really, really collectible and sought after. So we'll take those two fellas, that is awesome, glad I came around here and all these boxes are full of goodies waiting to be unpacked by the people who work here Alright we'll keep going guys Just here guys, a beautiful old homemade knife We'll take that one guys, that's nice, homemade fellas So this here is also Becoming very very collectible guys just a simple aluminium pot like that so always keep an eye out for that This is the type of stuff you shouldn't be scrapping guys if you ever come across stuff like this don't ever scrap it When I say don't ever scrap it don't scrap it if it's complete like this guys It's a bit different if it's like that But if you want to try and find the lid like that Very worth good money on the internet guys very very collectible 19 50s, post 1950s era, so I'm going to take that. So this is the type of stuff you shouldn't be scrapping guys, so if you're a scrapper, always keep an eye out for stuff like this. <clears throat> very, very collectible guys, 19, post 1950s, possibly late 1940s, but you know, when you find a nice complete set like this guys, do not ever scrap it. This is really, really sought after on eBay. Um, so I've just a couple of beautiful pots I'm going to buy guys and eventually I'll sell if you do scrap guys and you obviously our scrappers find a lot of aluminium pots like this if you're really really patient try and find a lid for it and you can sell them on eBay for really really good money sometimes they're embossed sometimes they're not but still still very very collectible guys so don't ever scrap these just use your imagination guys when you find stuff like scrapping always think first can I sell this on eBay, Gumtree and other second hand collectible websites found a few more goodies oh have you? yeah you got a nice cherry you are? very oh, nice and cherry thank you um, so that's a beautiful handmade knife I just found. It's beautiful. Very good. Yeah, I love that. But these are really nice. I love those. Memories of when I was a kid. Yeah, old fashioned. Yeah. Probably six, nine. Ten dollars. You don't mind being on the on my camera, do you? No, no, no. Not at all. At all. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, you can. Yeah. yeah. I know oh, what you're like, you ladies. Thank you My very mum's much. the same. Yeah, you yeah. And you work, are you, how long have you been living in Wajin for? Over five years. Six oh, okay. Years. Are you married to a local guy or? Not married to an Australian. Oh, yeah, it's not Peter, is it from the. No, no. My husband's at home, my husband's not here. No worries. Anyway, guys, we've just been over to the Wajin Care and Share. It's a beautiful brick and brick place with vintage era stuff and second hand clothes and goodies and but anyway I've got a good video coming up shortly about that guys it's going to be about 20 minutes long so stay tuned for that I'll give you a good tour I have done a um, video on this shop before so it's called Wajin Care and Share in my search bar on my YouTube channel so W-A-G-I-N Care and Share Wajin Care and Share if you want to see another video I've done on the place and me buying some goodies so it's into that guys, but anyway for my mate DJ Puff the third who's a cactus and succulent expert look at this DJ I just scored these guys some beautiful cactuses. I really really want to learn how to grow cactuses uh, And succulents, but I paid three dollars for all of these beautiful species guys So pretty happy with that. So I don't know DJ. I know you're always busy mate Maybe you can help me identify what they are. You don't have to mate, but what do you reckon? Three bucks? I think I've got a bargain there, mate. So, there's some nice ones there, guys. There's also possibly a couple what could be uh, nasty, as in they can grow out of control very easily. 
like this one I think this one's a prickly pear they grow out of control guys possibly this one too so you got to be careful of buying cactuses and succulents because they can really really overtake your garden if you don't look after them properly so anyway guys good score so I'm in waging today I'm just about to head out to the local rubbish dump I've got a nice video or a couple of good videos what I currently privatise at the moment guys on my road trip videos scrapping we're going to go out to the wage and rubbish shop now and see if we can find some treasures. And I bought a few things in the back, guys, so you'll see a video on that shortly in the back of the truck. So, anyway, guys, we'll go out to the rubbish shop now so we can find any goodies. goodies. Tell me what you think about my cactus plants. And I'm also going to visit my mum, Nancy. Mum's currently at the wage and uh, Waratah Lodge, it's an aged care facility guys, so I try and come and see mum at least twice a week and she loves it when she sees me. Alright here guys with this beautiful piece of uh, 1920s era furniture at the care and chair. Quite common to find these guys but this is in absolute beautiful condition. Probably sell it for about bloody 10 bucks I reckon. Anyway we'll keep on looking. Well fellas, I found a couple of nice surf shirts, not billabong or nothing special, but just a couple of nice cheap surf shirts. Probably pay a dollar or two dollars each. We'll keep looking. It's a nice one here fellas. Orange. Like that one. How are you mate? Oh, good. good. Thank you. Ah, oh, shame, shame, yeah. Bill, mate. How are you? I think I met you last time. Can I put you on camera, mate? I take my hands. So, hold on, mate. So this is Sean, guys. So Sean, Sean, no, Shane. Shane. So this is Shane, fellas. So Shane works here as a volu volunteer, mate. As a volunteer. And what do you what do you do? Oh, I have So you're going to stay out at the back. Yep. So you help out the back. I oh, know, back side, up here. Oh, oh, yeah, at the woodwork oh, section? Yeah. Oh, oh nice. The they make some beautiful furniture over there. Yeah, I'm going to make it. And the same time I take stuff in the bottle. Oh, okay. How long have you been working here for, mate? Me? Yeah. Because me, Jeff, work here all week. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. You know Jeff? Yeah. Yeah, me, yeah. Jeff, work here. Oh, that's good, mate. Do you get some good bargains? Oh, get, got all the shirts. Yeah, some beautiful shirts here, isn't there? Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's just more. Oh, nice. That's the um, kickbox. Yeah, Muay Thai. I can't wait, that's yeah. too. Kickbox. Muay Thai. I might get that one, mate. How much? Um, don't know. Dollar? About that. Yeah, it's pretty cheap here, isn't it? What size? So how old are you, Sean? Uh, that's, uh, that lunch? Yeah. Last three? Yeah, that should fit me, mate. How old are you, Shane? 41. Oh, yeah, I'm 47. So you're yeah, that's, that's the um for kids. Yeah, for uh, martial arts. No, I don't think it'll fit me, mate. Anyway, mate, it's nice meeting you, mate. There you are. Good on you, mate. Be proud of yourself working here, mate. It's great that you volunteer. Just here, fellas, a nice pair of shorts I might grab. These are really good, these ones, the barley bintang ones. They're just great for wearing at night during summer, exercising over walks and stuff, so we'll buy that. They've just restocked all the shelves, I think, fellas. It's a really nice pair of shoes here, guys. Unfortunately, they're not my size, but I'm gonna get these for my mate Dave. A bloke in uh, India at the moment, one of my best mates in Dumbuyang. He's a bit of a battler, guys, so we'll get these. You'll love these, I think. A couple of really nice leather shoes here, guys. I'll have to see if they fit me. These be perfect just for going outside gardening, as in or going down the street quickly if I have to. They look like they're going to fit beautifully, guys. That is beautiful. Got to be happy with that, fellas. Two bucks. Probably even cheaper. Soon find out. Just 
tell you guys, these are beautiful power shoes. Right, they're nice. I like those fellas. Do I want them? We'll try them on. No, they don't fit guys. I want to grab these for Dave as well, or spoil him. He's got a few surprises for when he gets home. Another pair of beautiful old leather shoes guys, beautiful condition, try them on. Shorts, three pairs of shoes, but three nice shirts. I'll just jump in that box, thanks. Chuck it in the box? Yep. Oh, I can do that. Chuck your shoes in the box. Yep. Oh, oh that's alright. Let's chuck it in. Oh, no. Yep, chuck it Don't worry about folding it. What? No. <laughs> no. Well, They're just going to be work, work shirts. Five dollars, thanks, love. Five bucks? Yep. Could have happier fat. Oops. There you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. No worries, Steve. you have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Thanks. And just over there, guys, is where they do recycle pallets. They make beautiful woodwork and furniture and bird boxes and heaps more stuff. And this is their workshop. There goes Shane again. See you Shane. Yeah. And this is a workshop guys. They make all the beautiful furniture out of pallets. Good day, mate. Hey, mate. Good thanks. What are you making? Signage. Oh beautiful. Signage. Nice. Yeah. You do a good job mate. No Should be proud of, you, mate. proud of yourself mate. No yeah. So um, so this is where you make all your beautiful furniture and stuff don't you? That's it. That's it. It's yes. Beautiful setup. It's the best shop in the Great Southern, I reckon, oh, mate, this place. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. All right, mate, it's nice. What's your name, mate? Mike. Mike, Bill. How are you, Bill? Yeah, good, mate. Please, no so I just do YouTube videos. So. Right, okay, no <laughs> so like It's just a tourism for to get a few people down here, mate. Yep, so, yeah. it's okay, yep. Okay then, Mike. I'll keep going, Mike. I've got to go over there. You close soon, don't you? Yeah. What time? Time. time? Oh, good. 15 right. minutes. Right, See you, mate. Please. There you are, guys. They're making nice stuff. We saw the pallets and that, and here's that beautiful old church convent, guys. So this is a beautiful old convent, what we used to play in as kids. That would be absolutely awesome as uh, a metal detecting. And but unfortunately, it's all properly owned now. In the last probably 10 years, it used to be abandoned for about probably 50 years, and now someone's just brought it along probably about 10 years ago and they've completely restored it or restoring it right now as we speak they've done an absolutely amazing job but as I say would have been a beautiful place to uh, metal detect I never got around to it fellas I guarantee you there'd be some nice bottles stored on this beautiful old property alright fellas let's go and have a look at the retro vintage era section So I just bought this little teddy bear fellas, my mum, just a little small teddy bear, give mum a little bit of comfort, maybe, she can think about me, don't know if you'll like it, just, but anyway, we'll soon find out. What do you reckon guys? A little bit of Cornish wear. Beautiful jugs. I don't know if they're that old but... I don't think they're that old guys. 
No, but it's still beautiful. Probably two bucks for those guys who wanted to buy them. Couple of nice few things for you guys. These are nice. Isn't that beautiful. Like those guys. Not that old, but it's still really nice. I'm going to grab those fellas, the candle, little candle lanterns, beautiful, good stuff in here guys, cheap as chips. Alright fellas, I could spend all day in here, but they're going to kick me, kick me out. Yes, we are going to. So, yeah. how much shall I? Four dollars fifty, please. For all of that? Yes. So I'm just going to put it on. We'll give you a ten dollar donation. Okay. Keep the change. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. He's really soft though. Yeah, and no, I'll give that to my mum. Oh. She's at Waratah. Do you want to put it in, fall into a bag for yourself? Look at that guys, beautiful oh, stuff there, more jewellery. A big selection here fellas, so I don't know if anyone's in West Australia, make sure you try and come down, it's absolutely beautiful. It's huge guys, not just this area, all the second hand clothes and so much more books, all beautiful selection of old books and you name it guys, you'll find it. See you fellas. G'day fellas, just a quick video. Scrap has been coming inside my house fellas. I usually leave my doors open for a nice bit of fresh air. It's becoming a nuisance guys, just wandering into the house anytime he likes. At the moment he's cuddling up to Cindy on Cindy's new phone mattress I got the other day. Cindy loves it. Cindy's a bit weir uh, wary of uh, Scrapper, whereas Banjo doesn't mind. Cindy's a beautiful dog, guys. She's about probably 11, 12 year old Dalmatian. And Scrappers just walks in and comes up to the dogs, as you can see. Alright, guys, we'll catch you later. See ya.